told you not to come. I could have done this by myself. If you think I'd let you face Fridley alone, you're crazy. You certainly made a mess of things, didn't you? Dueling in the halls, talking to the press, making a celebrity. No wonder not me hasn't fled the school. Now here you are, without my key, even though you know who has it. We do. It's Longbottom, you fools! His name is all over the Daily Prophet. Crane even had him pegged from the start. But he's a respected professor and a hero. Even Rita Skeeter doesn't believe he's involved. Skeeter knows how to write a story, that's all. It's Longbottom, has to be. He was there the first night in Hogsmeade, and he clearly has something to hide. The only thing I can't figure out is this blooming gala. Who does such a thing? Maybe it's not a party. Maybe it's an auction for the key. Of course! He's going to sell the skeleton key to the highest bidder. Yes! That's what I will do. That's what I will do. After I get my key back. I'm working on it. I just need more time. What you need is motivation. Mr. Prong? As me! I warned you, Daniel. I gave you more than enough time to pay your mother's debt. Now I fear it's become your debt. And I intend to collect in full from your sister. I'll get your key. Let her go! I'll get your key. I know you will, because you are going to do exactly what I tell you from now on. Starting with the silly flower affair. I plan to attend the gala and beat Longbottom at his own game. You'll never get close to Longbottom. Not without my help. There it is! That's what I've been waiting to hear! Finally, the young criminal shows his true colors! Welcome to the game, Daniel Page! Go back to school. Cover for me until I get back. I won't be long. You can't help him, Daniel. He's a villain. But I have to do this. Sometimes you have to be bad to do good. But I came to protect you. I'm not going to leave you here. You will. I know what I'm doing. Now go and be careful. And don't tell Ivy. Wingardium Leviosa! <laughs> nice one, Daniel. Thanks. I've been practicing. Now it's your turn. From Guardian Liviosa. From Guardian Liviosa. Nice one, Lottie. Yeah, thanks. I nearly dropped it. Of course. You can never be too careful with teapots. My dad always had me double-check before pouring in hot water, just in case an alchemy was hiding inside. Alchemy? What's that? Oh, they're the most beautiful creatures. They look a little like serpents, with gorgeous purple and teal plumage. You've never seen such vibrant colors. And their eggs are pure silver. Wow, it sounds like they'd make a perfect painting. Exactly. Sadly, even though they're so beautiful, they're quite aggressive as well. I'd love to see one up close. I hear they can get over four meters long. Well, I thought you said they could be found in teacups. 
That's the coolest part. They can change size to fit into any container. <gasps> Wicked! I didn't know that was possible. Right? It's called Coronaptixic. Wow. Try saying that five times fast. Where are they found? Is there actually a chance of finding one in a teapot here? Not really. They're usually found in East Asia. That's a shame. I'd love to see one. Me too. Sure, wonderful creatures. Indeed, they are. Though I think I'd prefer to just find tea in my teapot. Me too. Speaking of, may I have another cuppa? Ah! Kevin, what are you up to? Checking my broom. For what? Splinters? No, I'm checking for curses. Curses? Why are you doing that? Robin is convinced my broom is cursed because I keep falling off. I tried to tell her I'm just not good at flying, but she doesn't believe me. Hmm, I don't know, Kev. You do fall off a lot. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. Sorry, I just mean it'd be better if the broom was cursed, right? Yes, which is why I asked Madam Hoot for help. She showed me how to check for simple curses and such. So far, I found nothing. Hopefully, that'll convince Robin that I'm no good. Maybe I should take it for a test flight, just to be sure. Seems fine to me. Sorry, Kev. That's all right. I know it's not cursed. Mum said the same thing, and she knows a lot about flying. Right. 
Because she's a professional Quidditch player, you must have spent a lot of time around brooms. My whole life, actually. Mum likes to tell people I was born on a broom. I'm sure she's embarrassed when anyone sees me fly. I know all the rules and tactics, and can quote the scores of every World Cup for the last hundred years. But that doesn't keep me from falling off my broom every time I turn too fast. Maybe you haven't had the right teacher. My mom trained me a lot. So did some of her coaches. I even got a lesson from Victor Crumb. Not well. After 20 minutes, he scowled at me and flew off. Well, you're still very good at other kinds of magic. Remember how you helped me when I ran into trouble last week? Yes, I do know a thing or two about magic. Basic magic. Straightforward, simple, solid ground kind of stuff. Hmm, maybe what you need is someone closer to your age and skill level to teach you. Someone who still remembers what it feels like to fall off a broom. Pretty sure I know more about falling than anyone at Hogwarts. I'm sure you do. But what about the rest of it? And who do we know that loves flying and wants you to get better. You're talking about Robin. Exactly. She wants to help Kev. Give her a chance. What's the worst that can happen? You're already an expert at falling, remember? Oh, you're right. I'll do it. Uh, for Robin. There you are. So, is your broom cursed? It's cursed, right? It has to be. Nobody falls that much. No, Robin, it's not cursed. It's me. Ah, uh, that's what you always say, Kev. No, it's true. But, but I don't want it to be. If I had a good teacher... A teacher? Like who? Madame Hooch? No, I was thinking someone younger. Uh, like you. You want me to teach you how to fly? Well, yes. What do you say? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Come on, I'll show you how to do a Ronsky faint. This is going to be awesome. Oh, what have I done? What plants did you need to gather for potions again? Well, I was hoping to find some... Wait, what's that? It looks like a fire. Come on, maybe Hagrid is in trouble. Come 
What could have done all this? I'm not certain. It doesn't look like the work of a spell. Maybe we should investigate. I've never seen a creature with features like this. Uh, I have. Really? Where? Uh, right behind you. What an ugly beast! Careful, I think you've insulted it. It's coming to attack! Oh, now. How 
Gregory, get back! It's dangerous! Yeah, that monster set fire to your vegetable patch. Monster? That's no monster. That's a blast-ended screw, that is. A what? A blast-ended screw. Bred some a few years back. Thought they was all in a sanctuary. Looks like one of them escaped. Hopefully it was just the one. Hard to hate to encounter a pack of those in the Forbidden Forest. Lucky for you, they're a solitary lot and avoid trouble. Mostly. Smell awful terrible, too, so just run if you smell one. Run from the smelly monster. Got it. And best not to call them monsters. They're sensitive beauties. 